beauty became what is right now because human being by nature are always try to reach the perfection but it's a fake perfection they want the perfect skin they want the perfect nose they want the perfect everything the all my makeup are inspired by my everyday and by the people I see in the street or by what I see in the street in my mind I'm gonna find beauty if I see a dead bird in the street or a dead dog or something I'm gonna find the beauty of it the beauty in the decay the beauty in the death and I'm gonna find beauty in someone crying in the bus it's really really hard because I have like I'm a, I'm a very weird mind so for me beauty make me feel something for this challenge, I didn't want to express what beauty means to me, but what beauty is at the moment for most of the people. So I took some medical tape and I tried to lift my model on the forehead and on the neck area. I did a heavy foundation on her, slightly darker than her skin. I just tried to give her the really that kind of photoshopped face. So I applied several layers of liquid foundation. So I was gonna go to put her cheekbones higher. So for that, I just used a dark brown contouring cream below the cheekbones. I used the same cream to give her a nose job as well, just to really give her that artificial face. And then the judges came to me. They were like the medical tape. It wasn't really making any sense. So we decided to make a ponytail. I always do weird makeup. So yeah, let's just show the tape. It was exactly my aesthetic and what I wanted to go for. I then moved to the eye makeup. So I just took a palette of dark matte shadows and tried to give that over the top makeup. I then moved to the lip prosthetic. They work as a tattoo. You basically peel it off, apply on the skin, and then you have to go with a wet sponge on it and just press very, very strong. I then applied some very big fake eyelashes. I applied some Lumia powder on her cheekbones, which gives that crazy highlight. It was way too much because she was like kind of shining like a diamond, it was a bit crazy, but I loved it. I then used some eyelash glue and I used some small diamonds. I thought that would be a nice touch because there was that train of the diamond on the tooth. I just applied some lipstick on her that made her look like a Barbie. I had some freckles with a um, cream palette. People get beauty mark and freckles tattooed. So I was like, okay, let's just go for it. In the end, I added some lip gloss on the top of the prosthetic and the lipstick. So I do special effects. I do weird monsters. I do old people. I do this kind of stuff. So for me to challenge myself on the first creative challenge with that kind of makeup, I was really, really scared. I like my characters to give some emotions to people. But I wanted people to look at it and feel weird and feel like, what is that? And kind of question themselves about what they think beauty is.